Good morning. Good morning. Today we need our listening ears on for a listening lesson. First, we are going to learn about a famous composer, Johann Sebastian Bach, and then we are going to listen to just a small piece of his music and see what it makes you feel and think. Have any of you ever heard of Johann Sebastian Bach? Johann Sebastian Bach was born in Eisenach, Germany, where his father was a town musician. Bach was the youngest of eight children. His father, Johann Ambrosius Bach, had been a town musician and probably gave Bach his early music lessons. His mother, Maria Elisabetha, and his father died within a year of each other. At age 10 he was orphaned. Since both his parents had died, he was raised by his older brother, Johann Christoph, who was a church organist. His parents died when he was really not much older than you. How do you think he must have felt being orphaned so young? I bet he was lonely. Johann became a very good organist, like his brother. Bach was born and died in Germany, and spent his entire life there, working as an organist, teacher, and composer. Johann Sebastian Bach held three major jobs in his life. First he worked for a duke. Bach once had to spend a month in jail because he tried to quit his job composing and playing for a duke. Do they throw people in jail now for quitting their jobs? That's right, we don't do that today. During that month in jail, he wrote 46 pieces of music, many of which are still performed today. Then he worked for a prince. A prince, wow, wouldn't it be exciting to work for a prince? I don't know, maybe, if he was a good prince. It might be fun. It would certainly be interesting. The last major job Bach had after working for the prince was director of music at the St. Thomas Church and School in Leipzig, Germany. Bach was a dazzling organist and church musician, and had to compose all kinds of original pieces for every church service including pieces for choir, organ, harpsichord and orchestra. Even though his job in Leipzig kept him very busy, in his spare time, Bach conducted a group of musicians who liked to get together to perform at a local coffee house. Can you think of some creative things you like to do in your spare time? I like to make up new games to play with my friends. During his lifetime, people thought of Bach as just an ordinary working musician. Since most of his music was written to be performed in a church service only once and then thrown out, very little of his music was published during his lifetime. It was for this reason that Bach composed more music than almost any other composer. No one really knew much about his music genius until 100 years after his death, when another composer, Felix Mendelssohn, conducted a performance of Bach's Saint Matthew Passion. Do you think that Bach would be glad that Felix Mendelssohn decided to conduct that performance 100 years after Bach had died? I think I would. Bach is now seen as one of the greatest geniuses in music history. Would you want your work to be remembered if you were a Bach? Well, of course I would. Why wouldn't I want to be remembered? If I had worked hard on something people enjoyed, I would want it to be remembered. Yes, I agree. I would want my work to be remembered too. Now please get out a sheet of paper and something to draw with. Now we are going to listen to a short piece of Bach's work. Toccata and Fugue in D minor for the organ. As it plays right or draw what comes to mind as the music plays. The piece will play three times. <laughs> 